it really helps if I um push the phantom power button. I was sitting there talking, trying to like figure out why my mic isn't working. I'm like testing, 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 pushing buttons, doing settings on here. And I'm like going through all the menus in OBS and I'm like, why isn't my mic working? It's everything is set up properly. And I'm like, oh yeah, you got to push 48 phantom power to power the microphone. So hello, my babies. Welcome to the Tuesday Night Sky King stream. It is a new week. It is a new month. I hope you all remember to pay your rent. I hope you all bought groceries over the weekend or something. Maybe, I don't know, cleaned the house, took a shower. Um, we're doing well here. Taxes are paid. I want to say hello to Chardero, Daniel, Zarlek, and Lucy. Daniel, sorry, you have a migraine. We'll try to keep it down. Daniel also says that War Tales is the best RPG in a decade and it beats Baldur's Gate 3. I'm sure there will be people that will fight you over that. But it's good to see you. Tonight we are going to be back in Granite Hill, finishing what we started, because that's the kind of people we are. Tonight we're wearing our Halloween shirt. We are hollow inside, and we are joined by the wonderful Mr. Grit who ate a whole chicken tender to himself. Didn't you, Bubba? Yes, you did. Grit ate a whole chicken tender to himself. Meow. Do you want to tell everyone hi? Hi, say hi. Hi. Is there anything else you wanted to say? <laughs> Lucy, you are a lord and a lady. Welcome, finally. Thank you. Thank you for the membership sign up. I know that you've been wanting to do that for a while now. Welcome. You are fancy. Speaking of fancy, I've got another another Elgato light coming in. There she is, right here. I don't know why it's not playing the cool animation. Oh, well, Lucy has become a member. Welcome, Lucy Frax. So like I said, we're gonna be back in Creation Kit. Wanna let everyone know that I have begun the baby steps of my next mod. It's an idea that I had a few months ago and I've just recently found somebody a long time ago has kind of done the idea already, like 50% of the idea already but I'm taking it a step further. And uh, not gonna talk about it here. I'm just gonna have to surprise people with it. Um, but I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like it. I hope you're gonna like it. It's more of a, it's not like one of those must have mods, but it's definitely an immersion mod. If you're into immersion, it's one of those mods, right? You hit the jackpot on the Google Play points. I don't even know what Google Play points are, but I am happy for you. I'm happy. Nineteen minutes ago. This seems a little cray cray. At first I thought so I follow a lot of I follow a lot of 3D artists, a lot of video game artists to continually check out their um uh their portfolios and they're often posting things where I don't know like some like just glancing through my Twitter feed, I'm like, oh that's one of their portfolio shots, right? And so when real things happen, I think, oh, that's just a portfolio shot or animation. And it ends up like, no, that really happened. And I go, oh shit, I have to stop for a second. So apparently 19 minutes ago, 
A 7.5 magnitude. Oh, what, what the, what the, what the fuck is your problem? What is your problem now? I don't want the overlay. I want the game scene. Filters, none. This. Properties. Hello. You know what? We're just going to remove that. No, can I just... Can I just... Hmm, <laughs> Alright, fine. Let me go down to here real quick. Here. I'll, I'll be quiet. So apparently, a 17 and a half, 7.5 magnitude earthquake just hit Taiwan, rocking the whole island and even causing several buildings to collapse. Kind of. The earthquake triggered a tsunami warning up to 10 feet high from Japan. So a tsunami will hit Japan. That sucks. Check this out. Craziness. So if anybody is in uh, Eastern Japan, Taiwan, Japan, West Japan, I'm sorry. Um, anybody in Japan, Taiwan, Korea, uh, stay safe. Get away from uh, the coast. But seven, seven and a half, 7.5 is massive. So, uh, hope everyone's all good. Oh, that's got to be scary. The, the, you know these suspension bridges are actually suspended. They all seem pretty calm. They're all following traffic rules and laws. <laughs> I like how everybody just kind of takes it in stride. They're like, well, the light's still red. Oh. Landslides. Those are crazy. A lot of those in California. Got to see a few of those. Yeah. So but yeah, when I saw when I saw this shot, I thought this was I thought this was um fume effects for 3D Studio Max. <laughs> I didn't know it was real. All right. Brandy yeah, the tomato, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Mater. I'm going to call you Mater from now on. Um, a 7.5, uh, 7.5 magnitude just hit Taiwan 20 minutes ago. And now there's going to be massive tsunamis all over. Um, so here's the thing, Mater. For what you lack in earthquakes, you make up for in everything else in Australia. So, um, literally everything in Australia can and will kill you from the koalas to the spiders and snakes to crocodiles and sharks, probably birds, magpies, I'm guessing, um, kangaroos, crabs, oysters, people. You probably have dinosaurs that you haven't discovered yet, but they probably live there too. So for what you lack that the rest of the world fears, you have literally everything else. So don't feel like you're missing out too much on that in Australia. I remember when this is by nine in the eighties, can't imagine something stronger than that. Damn. Yeah, see, Hurricane Land, for me, is just as scary as Earthquake Land. Earthquake Land could be more scary because you don't know when an earthquake's coming. You might have a 10-second warning. You might have a 5-second warning. A hurricane, you have, like, two-week notice, right? Hurricanes are much more polite than earthquakes. They're like, I am gathering my forces in, in the southeastern Caribbean. I shall be advancing upon your position... Within 14 days, possibly, I may go left, I may go right, I may go right up the center, but prepare yourself. It's very gentlemanly, whereas an earthquake's just like, 
Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you in particularly. All right. So that's yeah. Earthquakes are scary. Uh, 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 another one, tornadoes are scary. Tornadoes are scary, right? Tornadoes are scary for the sense like yeah. You, hmm. Tornadoes, you kind of have like a one, two day warning, but it's more like tornadoes could develop right like the conditions are well are good for tornadoes but we don't know if there will be a tornado so you can have everything from uh a th an hour or two warning for tornadoes maybe even 12 hours for a tornado all the way to 30 seconds for a tornado you really don't know um you can have a light drizzle turn into a tornado within a five minute period and there was no warning. Um, the other one for tornadoes is you don't know what size tornado you're gonna get. You get five levels, one to five. And most of the time it's F1 or F2, but on those rare once in a decade um, times you get an F5, there was a, um, there was a town, there is a town in Texas named Gerald, Texas, that was quite literally wiped off the map. And it would, it would continue to no longer be on the map, but they rebuilt the town. Um, but Gerald got hit by an F5, I want to say. And they, it was so bad, so much destruction. Like I said, it wiped the town off the map, but... <clears throat> They had like paramedics basically just like quitting on site. They were finding animals three counties away. They were finding trees like spears through buildings. It was the most ridiculous thing. So tornadoes to me are scary. Earthquakes are scary, but you just kind of hang out outside and you're okay. Nothing can really fall on you in a building a little more scary. Outside, not so scary. Um, hurricanes suck because there's literally nothing you can do with a hurricane. There's, you can prepare and prepare and prepare and you can like block your windows and you can like put tape over the glass and you can lock the door and you can hide in a closet. But literally a hurricane, they'll come back and they'll just be a concrete foundation under 10 feet of water. It's like there, there's nothing you can do with with a big hurricane. Um, oh, yes, you're absolutely right, Lucy. I've I've been through so many tornadoes where it never hit like our neighborhood, but it would hit the neighborhoods around us. And it was the craziest thing because you would drive down a neighborhood street. And when I mean neighborhood, I mean it's a real neighborhood, um, like a named neighborhood. And, you know, houses on both sides, narrow streets. And the houses on the left side of the street would be completely destroyed. And on the right-hand side would be all of the houses with no debris in their yard. Or the, the tornado would destroy house A and C, but not house B. House B is perfectly fine, but A and C are missing. And you're like, whoa, 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 what the hell? Um... Yeah, and if you live in a trailer park, you're automatically a goner. Um, that's the joke. Uh, <laughs> that's the that's the joke about Alabama. Is um, uh, what? How does that joke go? Uh, did you hear about that tornado that went through Alabama? It did twenty million dollars worth of improvement and lifted the governor's mansion right off its wheels. That's the joke. So. <laughs> I didn't see the word labs and I just, I just read Daniel. I read your comment as I'm in Iowa and we have tornadoes on meth. That's what I read, <laughs> which is probably true also, <laughs> but tornadoes and meth labs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Brandy, you're absolutely right. That's really all you can do when a hurricane is coming. Okay. Look, <clears throat> the small hurricanes, I get it. When they're like on the border of like tropical depression and hurricane, you can kind of like 
eh, you can kind of risk it, right? But um, but if you uh, you go, you start moving up in the hurricane categories. Really, yeah, you 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 leave the city. You go to a city, a couple a couple of cities north or away from the coast, and you hope when they give you the all clear to come back, nothing is missing. And you know, and if your building wasn't knocked down, you hope it wasn't looted. So that's 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 how that goes. Hurricanes are crazy, man. But see, an earthquake would be crazy because if it hit your house, your house could be fine. Right? You're like, oh, look, no damage. But then it's like micro fractures everywhere. And then all of a sudden, like the next time it rains, you notice small little leaks and things. And you're like, son of a bitch. So speaking of it, I ha I, I got to dust this desk. I got to dust it. But anyway, Brandy kicked me in the nuts and said if she could give me one tip, it would be to watch my lighting, which I think my lighting is phenomenal because I'm evenly lit. Um... But then Best Buy sent me an email and they go, you have to use your credit card or we're closing it down. So I bought another um, another Elgato light to go over here and they were like $40 off. So I was like, well, that's a deal. Better get it. And it was supposed to be here today, but it'll be here tomorrow. So it'll be ready for the Thursday night stream. And I'm kind of sad about that. But I am happy on another purchase. I bought three different chai teas. So... I'm going to have some chai tea for my next stream also. We'll see how good it is. That's right. You evacuate when the Waffle House closes. Place I lived in Iowa was so small, I don't remember the name. There was a coffee shop, a library, and that's it. You didn't have a post office? I didn't know you were born and raised in Ga, Daniel. We got family that lives um, just north of Jacksonville. We got family in Jacksonville. This is FLA for people that are wondering. And I'll tell you, that place continually gets bombarded by hurricanes, but all of them just cruise on by. They never hit like Northeast Florida directly. They'll always hit like South Carolina. And I think it's because South Carolina, North Carolina's asses hang out into the Atlantic and then it like like North Florida and a, and like Savannah those are like inlets right and then like the panhandle of Florida not the panhandle the 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 bottom part of Florida kind of sticks out so it continually gets hit I want to live in Archer Iowa you know what I think Lucy you're the first person and the last person I'll ever hear say that <laughs> I've never heard anyone willingly say, I want to live in Iowa. It's the same for Nebraska. It's the same for North and South Dakota. It's the same for Kansas. Um, it's the same for Missouri and uh, Arkansas. These are states that I've never heard people say, I want to live there. These are states where people end up, you know, it's kind of like a job. You, you grow up, you want to be an astronaut or a dinosaur, you want to grow up and be a famous guitar player, but you end up in Iowa, you know, as a chiropractor in a strip mall. Iowa, chiropractic work, and working in a strip mall are three things that people never plan for, but they always end up. So Arkansas, Iowa, Nebraska, North South Dakota, Kansas, those are all places you end up. Oh, live, not want to. <laughs> Did you just meow to intro yourself, Leo? Are you going to ubu me later? Well, dang, Daniel, you're from all over. Lucy wants to live in Wisconsin again. Okay, look, I'll give it to you. Wisconsin's pretty cool. Wisconsin's pretty cool. And another thing is I've never met somebody from Wisconsin I didn't like. Like they're they're like overly nice and they're always just like wanting to do stuff. Wisconsin people are cool, man. Okay, Brandy, I'm gonna give that to you. The um the uh 
Oh, what is that? What is that area called? Um, we got like Blue Ridge, Appalachia, Piedmont. Out there, they got that. I want to say the Aztecs, and it's not the Aztecs. What is that? Um. Um. Oh. The Ozarks. The Ozarks. The Ozarks are gorgeous. Oklahoma is another state, too, where people just end up and never, like, like consciously decide to move to. They just go, I ended up in Oklahoma. The Ozarks are amazing. Never seen them in person, but I have seen pictures. Yo-hoi coffee shop. Thank you, Daniel. The Aztecs. But you see where I was coming from. You see, you see where I was going with this. The Ozarks. Yes. Anywho. <laughs> Tulsa, Oklahoma is only there because the wagon broke there. That's absolutely true. Oklahoma sucks. And it's also because I'm a Texas Longhorns fan. So anything Oklahoma, I, I often end up hating. Um, but everything outside of that, now you're starting to get into like Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, um, Utah, California, Oregon, Washington, Montana. Beautiful. I would say Idaho, but South Idaho, 80% of Idaho sucks. North Idaho is very nice because it's much like Washington and, and, and um, Montana. So it's great. But Southern Idaho, I can skip it. I drove through a couple tornadoes on accident. Um... One, I was driving, going on a trip, and there just happened to be a storm that I drove through, and, they, and it ended up, I heard later on that it was a tornado, and I was like, oh. The other one, I was in downtown Austin, Texas, and I was and, and I was hanging out, and somebody told, well, you could look out the window and see the weather was getting bad. And then somebody was like, I think it's going to get really bad. And I was like, man, you know what? I better just go ahead and cruise on home and see if I can beat it. I did not beat it. I didn't beat it. Um, as soon as I got to my exit, it hit and it hit hard. And my house was about mm, half a mile from the exit, maybe three quarters of a mile with all of the wind and the hail and, and just, ugh, it, it took me five minutes. Just like had to just stop and just pull over and just wait for things so I could crawl. It was crazy. Bravram. Pacific Northwest is amazing. I don't know what PN oh Pacific Northwest. <laughs> PNW. I've never heard it called PNW. And I've been there. But maybe they did call it that and I just made fun of them. In our town we had storms so bad the roofs and a few houses flew away. It's regular. Yeah. Time to move, Leo. Time to move. But now the town's mostly destroyed by bombs anyway. Well, well, Leo, you just got to have to decide. What do you prefer, storms or bombs? You know, it's the same result. But I hate to hear that you're getting hit by bombs. What part of the world are we in? Because there's many parts that are getting hit with bombs. We should just get you... A vacation to America. Vacation. We need to all save up money for Leo to be sent to America. Because I don't want anybody getting hit with bombs. Period. Say no to bombs. Ukraine. Yeah. That'll do it. Well, stay safe, Leo. I hope that my stream bring, brings you some sort of joy and solace from all of that mess. Because that's crap. 
That is absolute bullshit crap, to be totally honest with you. I remember when it first started and the whole Ukraine situation, the whole invasion of Ukraine. And I was like, oh, this will be over in like two weeks. Well, at first I was like, oh, this is just a scare tactic. And then I saw a video of some plane blow, like, they were like, oh, Russia's only going against military targets. And so they ended up blowing up some houses with an airplane and it was on video. And I was like, yeah, they're not going after military targets. And I was like, this is this won't last. This will this will this will be over in two weeks. Well, here we are, and it's way more than two weeks. And I'm I'm shocked that it's not taken a lot more seriously. You know what I mean? No, I'm now in another town. You know, Leo, t home is where the heart is. You're never homeless. You know what I mean? You got a home. You'll be okay. Are you still in the Ukraine or have you left the country? Is it legal for people to leave the country or are they conscripting? I don't know. Um... That's, that's totally scary. I'm going to switch over to game scene. We can continue talking while I do this. But I think that that's, that's just totally shit, to be honest with you. It makes me very sad. Good evening, Walter. It's Walter, Walter, Walter. And we have the grit. I'll show you the grit real quick since not everybody's seen him yet. We need proof of life. There he is. He seems like a sweet, innocent cat, but he's not. Um, he, uh, he stole a whole chicken tender, homemade chicken tender off a plate and had it all to himself, all to himself. Didn't tell anybody, just took it as if it was his. He, he's doing a little bit better. As you can see, he's not on his blanket and he's not been on, he's not been on that blanket in over two weeks. Good evening, Renzla. So he's, uh, he's still coping, but he's not staying under the bed all day anymore. So that's good, but his neediness and constant seeking of attention has skyrocketed through the roof constantly if he's like alert and awake unlike now which now he's just sleepy he's he's constantly just sitting on the armrest next to me just meowing and yelling at me like constantly needing attention so we'll see we'll see I don't know what he's he's afraid of. Maybe he's just afraid we're going to leave or something. I don't know. I'm going to get rid of pelts. I'm tired of seeing pelts everywhere. Pelts are so last year. So last year. I'm going to put the NPCs there. I'm going to delete the rugs. 
Everything else can stay. Cool. All right, boys and girls. We now have, or as my dad used to say, all right, sports fans. <laughs> I don't know why he said that. We were not a sporting family. We did not watch sports. We watched baseball, but like, not like, you know, it's not like we had like, it's not like some families that like buy season tickets to their local sports team and they're like, sports is everything. Um, yeah, he always just said, okay, sports fans. Oh, screen, yeah. I, you know, I'll put it on game to see when I'm ready. All right, sports fans. Now we got a clean room. I don't want you to sit there and suffer watching me clean this room up. Is it safe to add Granite Hill to my load order now or should I wait a bit? Yeah, you can add it. You can add it. I don't think it I don't think it messes up anything. Do it mid mid save. Yeah, Leo, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Tendies. Everybody loves tendies. But now, now I'm going to just consistently call you sports fans. All right? <laughs> at, at random. Not right now. Just randomly. I'm gonna be like, All right, sports fans, what are we going to put over here? <laughs> yes, and it shall become annoying. All right. I need... I need things. I need things in here. And what things they are, I do not know. I, I like this fishing net thing that I stole from JK. Like, this is totally not my idea. Just I just want to make that well known. I did not come up with this. But JK did. And I am stealing this idea. To use it as like... Like a little loft kind of like thing. All right. We got another net too. What's this one look like? Oh, it's just a lot bigger. Now, let me see here. You know what? This could probably go the other way. Bink, bink. Bink, 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 bink. bink. Just like that. Oh, that is perfect. Just like that. So I could do it there or I could do it like way out here. What if I brought this down in scale? Dink, dink. Might be too much. Yeah, a little too much. Let's do it one up. Perfect. Nice. There we go. So that's going to be that. And I'm going to put like crates and rugs up there. And I'm also going to do a flippy do on it. There we go. Do, 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 do. Is that right? Seems okay. I haven't started a game yet. Still debating landscape, architecture, female body skins, and armor. Oh, Lucy, about the player home in Granite Hill. If you were on a save already and already own the player home, you might want to remove all of your stuff. Yeah, that's a good one. So I saw somewhere saying, make a save if you're on Xbox, then go in and delete all the Creation Club stuff, download all the mods you want, and then reload that save and it will download all of the Creation Club stuff again for you and you don't have to worry about having the double storage problem. Saw this on Twitter. So take it with a grain of salt. Okay? Take it with a grain of salt, y'all. But that's what I heard. I'm not a plub. I don't use an Xbox. Now, I guess we're going to put the counter where the counter always goes in these general stores. 
which is right here, just like Riverwood and everyone else. We're in agreement on this. I'm taking that as a resounding yes. That's not going to fit there. I have to do something smaller. D -d Dink. There we go. Dink. Well, that's funny. Uh. Yeah, that's just that's just what I heard works. So FYI. Does it actually work? I don't know. I hate positioning books with a passion. These shelves are kind of like sucky. They look like vanilla shelves, don't they? They just look like just bare bones shelves. These are not fun general store shelves. Delete all this crap. I want like fun shelves. That's what we need. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the way I had it set up wasn't bad. It was just sparse, right? Like, that's just how I feel about it. It's just kind of sparse. I don't know. Y'all tell me. This poor guy needs a schedule, but I don't know, maybe not. I'm gonna take all of this crap and just delete it because I don't think I'm gonna use any of this at all. I want to do all new decorations in here. Mm. Let's see. Mark our side. Brandy still sleeps nine hours in the morning. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you know, when we when we hit a certain age, you you know, as Paul Simon says, I don't expect to sleep all night. So 
That is truth. All right, so this is going to be our new general store now. Um, the, the general store of imagination where you just imagine things on the shelves. Okay? But what I want to do is I want to jump in game and go find fun inspiration. That's what I want to do. Let me go see in here real quick. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm going to just exit out. If it'll let me. There we go. Why would guy who is working in the shop so poorly maintained that it hasn't even got proper name? Yeah. Why would he have a work schedule? I agree, Leo. But um, in all seriousness, I do want a new general store name. And we need some cool decorations. So we're going to go find inspiration, okay? I do want to say thank you to everyone who has joined us so far in the stream. We uh, got 13 people up in here. We've got a bit of a slow night, but that's okay. It's a Tuesday. Um, hit the like button for me on your way in. And uh, we're going we're gonna to continue decorating and stuff like that, I guess. Soon, we'll be doing some Let's Plays. Soon. I just have to figure out what I'm playing. And the Bubba is passed out. Here we are in the beautiful tundra of White Run. Mm. Uh, the the Granite Hill General Store. Uh oh, angry red guards. It is currently called the General Store. Oh, I thought, I, <laughs> Brandy was telling her what, what shop needs a new name. I thought that was Brandy's suggestion as to what to name it. Just General Store. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of its current name, but that's hilarious. <laughs> it's just, look, Mark Hearthside had all these great shop names that y'all came up with. And although I am sad, we did not name the end the Clapping Clam. I am sad about this. I'm upset about this. But I digress and I gave in to the masses. That works, Lu that works Lucy. But I am sad about that. Daniel, when do you start your summer vacation? When is summer vacay? Who owns the shop? Roar, I think is his name. Is that right? Roar owns it? I can't be 100% sure. I think it's Roar. I think. Hey, Tomato, how's your Green Tundra landscape mod going? If y'all have not checked out Tomato's Green Tundra, if you need a Green Tundra, go check it out. Oh, hold on. Kill. Kill. Goodbye. May 15th. Heck yeah, I bet you're counting down the days, bubba. Is this the year you retire? Are you gonna... Yeah, roar. Um, are you gonna are you gonna retire this year and just take up full time woodworking and gonna start an e commerce website? Is it time? Is it time for me and Brandy to build you a website and put it on Shane's server? Shane owns a Shane runs a company that offers website URLs and server space. Brandy does IT and all sorts of stuff. 
I do marketing and websites. You basically have a full team at your fingertips. Success is guaranteed, my friend. No way, I'll do them both. Burning the candle at both ends. I love it. I love it. You've had good feedback? Okay, good. Because some people are just morons, you know? They're going to be like, I put this right after static mesh improvement mod, and then I and then and then I installed um, uh, Skyrim 2020x, and I don't have Green Tundra. What's happening? I put this at the top of my load order, and now all all my NPCs have brown face bug. What's going on? That's how that's how mod users are. Okay. Oh, we got an axe. I don't know why we have an axe. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't I didn't start a new new save. I love the net. I think the net's cute. That's fun. Um okay. Clean blank space. We got some light. We got some lights in here. We're going to move the lights around. Hey, Daniel, why don't you teach woodworking? best of both worlds. Of course, I say that, but as a as a very refined guitar player of many decades, I hate teaching guitar. <laughs> I I don't I don't I I don't find that humans make good students. So I just I don't, you know. He has been robbed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, tomato. People are weird. Did you link to your other mod? That might help. Catches are like, love you. Good night. Thank you for joining us, Zarlek. Don't be a stranger, Bubba. I know work is running you ragged. I really need this general store to open up. Um, I gotta say, I never took woodworking. I never learned the whole woodworking thing. Although I did watch uh, uh, quite a few episodes of this old house. So I feel like I'd be probably a pro at woodworking. I'd probably have it down pat, you know. All right, so this is a JK thing, I guess. No, not really, this looks vanilla. Although I have JK interiors. Um, looks pretty bone standard, so I'm leaving. Okay. Um, we'll check out the Riverwood Trader. Um, does this old house not air anymore? Do they not make these episodes anymore? Solid stone sails. Well, that's cute, huh? This is all cute. Be yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Cute. Much better. What's upstairs? Oh, wow, they did the upstairs. I didn't know they did that. I mean, it makes sense, but... Oh, that is cluttered and cramped. This I do not like. Hey, there's water in that. I did not know that. This is cute. Oh, we got flying eggs. That's a bit 
unimpressive. I don't like putting weapons and stuff on shelves because it's just so much blank negative space there, you know? <laughs> Junkapalooza. Josie's Junkapalooza. That's not a bad idea, Daniel. I like this. I can't do the, the, the cabinet thing up there with the netting, though, so probably won't. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do. But I like all of this. This is cute. I want to steal all of this. JK interiors can be nice. Sometimes they're just too much. Like the upstairs here is too much. This is too much. They really like using that um that thing from the from the uh, White Run freaking what the crap ever. I'm just cleaning up after y'all. Okay. So I'm going to take some screenies. Because I can. Real estate photography. Always shoot into the corner. FYI. Always shoot into the corner. Makes the room look bigger. Cool. I do like the ropey doos. Those are fun. <laughs> well, you see, that's kind of what I was going for with the um, magic shop in, in Markarth side. That's why all of the shelves are Nordic Ruin shelves. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I don't really need to go to Riften. Um, we can check out Winterhold. Yeah, the dream catchers are cool. Uh, what are the wall baskets? Where the? No, you get back here. Get back in your shop. Get in your shop. I need to shop. What? Get in there. Ooh! Crossroads Goods. I like that. Okay. Now we're hitting on some cylinders. Well, this doesn't even look like it was touched. This is sad. Why would you put two candles next to each other? Why would you do that? Shut up. Um. This is sad. Crossroads goods. That kind of rolls off the tongue. I like that. Um, here's a here's a little tidbit about um, Sky King signs. This was the hardest sign to make. I had to hand draw all of this crap to make it look like the vanilla sign. To get the hearth to start as Celtic knots to go into a hearth and then draw the Celtic knot to look like a fire inside a fireplace. This was not a fun thing to make. This one took me like an hour to do for just a crap in sign. Um, <laughs> yeah, this one wasn't fun. I did not like this one. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I should have rounded this little edge right here. This, this edge, I feel maybe I should have rounded it off or something. I don't know. No, I think we're okay. But yeah, that wasn't that that took that would that was the sign that took me the longest to make. Because I really wanted to stay true to the vanilla sign artwork. Just make it better. Some of them I kind of went off on. I kind of like strayed really far away. Um 
Not really. Like, the Bannered Mare might be the one I strayed the most from, because the artwork is completely freaking different. But... Now we're wandering and talking. This is why I can't test in-game, because I end up wandering around. But I do like these glaciers. They're very vanilla friendly. Right? They're very vanilla, but they look very, um... I don't know, they look updated, but they still look very vanilla. If that makes any sense. If y'all ever go here, watch out for all of the traps. Make sure you just go around the back end here. See? Trap. Oh, it hit me. I got too close. But if you need if you're gonna go to the college, this is a great place to go to um Yeah, now we're magicked up. We're ready to go. Great place to if you need to just get some robes real quick and a, and and boost your magic real fast. And luckily there's no ice wraiths. I hate them early in the game. The snow area really sucks if you're like a level 1. Ice wolves, ice wraiths, all of it sucks. Frost Trolls, they suck too. Just did some calculations. Three point one gigabytes. Wow. Greedy Kitty's Grotto. Oh Lord. Don't give him a big head. Don't give him a big head. Knowing grit, he'll be like constantly wanna like make changes and updates. He's gonna be like the store owner from hell. Free horse. Can't you replace the SSD? I I don't think I don't think I think I th oh, wait. I think Lucy's on Xbox. And so she still has the five gig limit no matter what her SSD is. Can I shoot magic from a horse? Absolutely not. That is bull crap. Is there a mod? Like I can use a sword from a horse, but I can't shoot magic. Like what kind of crap is that? Am I the only one who finds this as a bug, not a feature? Am I the only one? Surely other people have complained about this, not just me. This has got to be pretty widespread annoyance, right? Yeah. Can't shoot flames from a horse. News to me. Is horse magic a thing or is that a joke? is a bug. Okay. Well, go horse.
Okay, horse, bye. Horse will be fine. I have, like, horse overhauls, but I haven't seen, haven't seen, I mean, and it didn't work, so. But mine's just a graphical update, right? I got this moving ships mod, so now there's ships moving around, see? Isn't that cool? Can I not jump on top of that? I could use a Midian Born. That's what I use. I use a Midian Born and then... Well, I have Cathedral Armory and then override it with a Midian Born. Cool. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, you, you won't get banned for that kind of a bad joke. I'm not that mean. Okay. So. I think we're pretty good here. Let me go back. COC, AAA, Granite Hill. Oh, I don't know, bruv. I'll see. I uh, My MCM menus work sometimes, sometimes not. Right? So let's see. Um, simplest. Oh, that's Sky UI. Which the menus for Sky UI have never worked for me ever in my history of playing Skyrim. Simplest horses, no menu. Yeah. So, yes, there is something there, but there is no page for it. So, like I said, I've never had the mod. I've never had the MCM menus ever work for those mods. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, save. Let's get out. Currently have Divergence, and it covers weapons, armor, and clothing from base game plus the DLCs. Cool. Let's get that lined up. So the next time we log into the game, hopefully we'll just be done with this crap. Divergence is only on Xbox. Am I correct in this? I'm oh, sorry about that. I was trying to lower my light. Yeah, no, I think Divergence is just um, Xbox. Okay. So let me do this. I'm gonna go into edit this cell, interior data, and I'm gonna call this Crossroads Goods, because I like that name. I'm gonna go into here, Granite Hill, form type, location. Oh! So, interesting. Really? I mean, I guess it doesn't really need a location because I'm not doing anything with it really, but I find that kind of sloppy.
you know? I find it a little sloppy. Let me see here. Um, see, everything should have... Let's see, winter hold location, military, military, college, 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 house, frozen hearth, Jarl's long house, Cora's house. Let me see here, one second here. Yeah, Berna's oddment and um, winter hold don't have doesn't have a location either. I find that odd. Yeah. Yeah, nothing there. So I guess I don't really need a location. I just find that weird. I guess you only really need a location if you have something going on that specifically needs to have a location to refer to. Oh, uh, what are we talking about? One well, of the ground on Markarth side isn't going to be just dirt. Are you playing? What? The ground on Markarth, is it just going, um, is it going to just be dirt? It's a mixture of things. It's got a shit ton more than just dirt. It's got dirt, grass, flowers, rocks. It's got all the grounds on it. Ugh. Walter's Mart. Animated mounted casting. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Um, Oakley Doakley, as we like to say. I like the net, but now I'm like, do I like the net? Yeah, that all nice, but I don't know what I gotta. Looks nice. Okay. And it, okay. Um, right now. How do I want to do this? How do we want to do this, y'all? I'm keeping the bookshelves. Keeping the shelves. Let's have more shelves for more storage. Because I remember when we did the magic shop, Doing wall shelves doesn't really work here. So doing these kind of shelves is going to be a little bit better to do. Doing it like this is going to be better. In my opinion. My humble opinion, but my opinion nonetheless. I kind of like having that there. Um, I wonder if I can scoot this back. I want to delete that. Bring up my markers. I'm going to get rid of these lights. Because I don't like them. I'm going to see if I can pull this back to here. Like that. That's going to be a little bit better. Like so. These other markers can stay. Okay. Just kind of working. What I like to do when starting with a blank space, I really like to start with the big furniture first. Get it all taken care of and then go from there. Okay. That's kind of the best thing to do.
we're gonna try this countertop idea. Will it be a good idea is the question. This is something I cannot answer. Um, this corner piece needs to go. This guy here needs to go here. This guy here needs to be step and repeated. Dit, 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 dit. This is a lot easier with it right side up, I'll tell you that. Do, 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 do. And now I need, oh, everything's in my way. Can I take this? And work it this way. Yes, it works both ways. Sometimes some pieces are like, corner left, corner right. And you gotta be like, okay, which corner piece am I needing here? Make sure this is not going through the floor. That's fine for right now. And then I'm gonna get an end piece here, which I think I can use this one. No. Right? Wrong one it is the wrong one. Let me see. Totally gonna rip off JK. I mean, look, I gave them the opportunity. I gave them years to make a JK version of Granite Hill and they never did. So you just gotta do it yourself. DIY it, man. Do it yourself. <laughs> it looked gooder if you clip in a post to join them together. Yeah, Daniel. But were to walk look nice. Throw some ivy in there and call it a day. Yeah, we're going to have to do the ivy for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so you want... You want arches or posts, right? So let's see what we have here. Um, let's see here. Posts, maybe? I'm just looking. Let's just try this then. Just make it a lot smaller. There you go.
posts. I don't know about those, but posts are good. Um, let's let's look up column. See if I can find a farmhouse column. Yeah, like that. Uh, 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 uh. Will this fit? I have to do like 0.35. This might look poopy with a different texture mod. I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, okay, let me look up here. Let me go um, farmhouse loft. Is it farmhouse loft? No. Um, let me look here real quick. That's just that. Um, I think it might be in Whiterun. Whiterun architecture. Let me see here. Let me go outside. I'm looking for um Let me do this. Let me go to the bannered mayor real quick cuz I think I can just find it quickly here. Yeah, I know you don't like the J I know you don't like the JK. Oh, I know. Not a fan. We know. Um, a lot of people aren't fans of it, to be honest with you. Like, a lot of people just aren't. So I was thinking like that. But that's not really what I want now that I'm looking at it here. Sorry. But yeah, a lot of people really aren't fans of um of JK. Do you, you you do or you don't, you know? You like it or you don't. Let's do White Run. I see none of the JK mods are opening in here. I wonder if it, maybe they, because they're BSAs. I don't know. I thought CK would open up everything BSA. Interesting. I'm looking for like an arch. Is basically what I'm looking for. Let me go into. Where's the White Run Temple? There we go. Don't want any of that. Thank you. So there's these cool pieces. Eh. I want this piece, please. Oh, that's a whole thing. I'm looking. That's a whole thing. And that too is a whole thing. Dang. There were some cool arches that would work really, really well, is all I'm saying. And now I can't seem to find them anywhere. And they would work really well for the posts, is what I mean to say. And now I don't see them. I don't think they're in the Hall of the Dead. Night, Daniel. Have fun. Thank you for everything. Let's see here. That's not it. This is kind of what I was thinking, but it's not really it. Int beam support.
Yeah. Oh well. We'll work on the desk beams for you, Daniel, later. I'll probably do it off stream. But yeah, can't seem to find it. All right. Let's see here. Ah, that lighting setup. I I have a lighting setup in mind. Um, it's really hard for me to do like a three point studio setup in here, simply because of how the monitors are and stuff. I have two monitors, as you know, and I'm trying to look here. Let me see. I have two monitors. Oh yeah, that thing. Hold on. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just, no, wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to cancel that. Cancel. Delete. I'm going to go into discord real quick. I'm going to post some, I'm going to post some things here. Okay. And this is going to be in, I'm going to put this in techie talk. If you're in discord, if you're in our discord, um, we have a good time there. You should join. If you're not, if you're in there, you know, um, let me, I'm going to just sit back for a second here and just do this. Okay. Bing. All right. Head try simpler until it works. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go into discord here and post this picture here of my setup. So first and foremost, I'm going to go into tech talk here. I want to show you what my next, um, office chair is going to be. Here it is. This is my, <laughs> this is my next office chair. I don't want to, I don't want to start a pull. I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever like looking for an office chair, but damn, look at this on the bottom. You have two double wheels on each little post down here. I almost wish that these were like, like lion heads on the front of the armrests, but what the deuce, like what the hell? You've got to be some like low level Chinese crime boss hotel mogul to own a chair like this. I, I want to get it and put it in this office just so when people walk in, because I want to see their reactions. I want people to walk in and go, what the hell? What the hell? Of course I found this on Alibaba. Of course I found it on Alibaba, but like I laughed so hard when I came across this and I had to save it. I had to save the picture. It blew my mind. I have never seen a more glorious office chair ever. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, Walter. Yeah, you need, I don't know. I don't know. You know, Grit would be the first one in it. He'd be like, mine. If I had like a huge house where I just had so much room, I would buy it just for a gag. But I mean, I want to like ask you guys, like, with all of like my ad revenue, any revenue I get from like streaming and stuff, I just need to put it aside and buy this chair. And this is the new Sky King throne. Yeah, Thunder. This is the new Sky King throne right here. God, I hope nobody in my family watches this stream because I knew they were gonna I know they'd they'd buy it and laugh at me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. God, what a horrible thing. Okay, so uh, moving on. Let me let me show you this other thing here. So this is my. Oh, Brandy just posted. <laughs> Brandy just posted this picture here for us. Thank you, Brandy. That's that's fitting. Very fitting there. So here's my setup. Um, the wall is actually not blank back here. There, there's a there's a, a panel back here. In between the two panels is blank. But don't worry. Okay, look. Here's the deal. Here's my conundrum. What I need, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do like a little, I'm gonna do a little snappy do here, a little snippet. Okay. What I would like to have is have all of this here in the center, right? But I can't have it in the center because back here is this big block base where my dual monitor VESA mount goes. This has a little base right here and it cannot go on top of this base. So I cannot put this in the center. Now a three point lighting setup would be something like your key light, fill light, and then like a halo light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dumb it a little bit, right? We're gonna keep this as the key. So I'm gonna just, no, I can't, okay. So this is gonna be my key light here because that's what it's designed for. Here's my camera right here. This is my camera. Okay. Camera, smile flash camera button on it. And what I'm going to do is back here behind the computer, I'm going to put in my other light that's coming in tomorrow. Bing. And it's going to be like my, my, um, my fill light, fill light, not like uncle Phil, but just like fill as it with an F. How is it? Okay, so like my cat, like Grit does get up here. He'll sleep like right here, but he tries to get up here. This is where Grit tries to get. This is Grit. Okay, <laughs> that's not an accurate representation. Okay, Grit tries to get up here. That's why I have my skylight up here is so he can't jump up there. So that's why I have the, the galaxy light. <laughs> that is such a horrible picture. That's such a horrible cat picture. <laughs> this is why you should not call me an artist because I cannot draw, okay? All right. So Brandy, I agree with you. That should make a good difference. So now I have a light coming from here and a light coming from here. 45, like almost 45 degree angles. Now this key light is a lot closer, but the fill light will be good to have, which means I can lower the brightness on this one and have it a little bit better. Um, now over here behind me, over here behind me, if I go into this thing, okay. So here's my bookshelf. Bookshelf. Well, it's not a bookshelf. It's just a shelf shelf. Well, it has books on it, so it could be a bookshelf. But I have this light and I could kind of do something like that, right? And I guess, I don't know, like, but if I do that, it's kind of like in the camera. No, not really. That's good. But then I also have this light directly behind my head that kind of acts as like a separator from me in the background, which is what like the halo lights are supposed to do, separate you from the background. Okay. The other thing is that if we look in the background here, that's, that's baby shark side of the office. That's all of her stuff. 
So that's those are her helmets and her um. What is that? Kitty cat face on her computer, and that's her guitar and all of her books and stuff. Okay, but this corner right here, I want to put a light in that corner. I feel like putting a light in that corner would be clutch. So that that might be the other thing too, is to lighten back here, that part of the room, you know? You think so, Brandy? Okay. Maybe I should just brighten that one up a bit back there. Let me see. Brighter, 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 brighter. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm, that's what I'm feeling. But I think having one, I think having that, the new light coming in, that'll be over here, filling in like all of this would be good. But I'm very much kind of caught blocked on what I can do here because I have no space. I have no, I have nowhere to, I don't, I can't clamp the halo ring light in the center with the camera because of my VESA mount that's in the way. That's the main issue. Um, and I want to keep what goes on my desk at a minimum. Right now, I feel like there's too much crap on my desk. So that's my thing, okay? But I'm going to look at your, your thingamajigger here. Let me look at your artwork here. Yeah, see, you have ring light in the center and then 145 off to the side. And then you have key light to the left. Yes. Yeah. So your back wall is very similar, except you have some in the center, right? But you have one in the corner. So yeah. So that's, that's kind of where I'm heading. It's just, I can't do the one in the center, sadly. That's, that's the only downside. Okay, cool. So, so that's where we're at. Let's continue decorating. And my mom has been texting me. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's, let's get, let's get to this people. Now, all this is good. And what do we do over here? So I use four lights. Yeah. Lighting is hard. Um, I took photography in college for a couple years and it, we learned all about like the studio lighting and stuff and while while it's good you there's there's like base rules right like this is you know the basics and a lot of people don't go by don't go beyond the basics they, they just feel like that's kind of like good enough and it is to an extent but i always say once you get the basics get creative once you get the basics, start getting creative. Um, it really does make a difference. It really starts making a difference. And a lot of people are kind of scared to start, um, start doing that kind of stuff. And I'm like, no, like you did the hard part. Now go have fun with it. You know, have fun. I want to put something back here and I don't know what. Maybe I'll worry about that later. Now, over here, I think JK's had a bunch of like cabinets up here or upside down tables or something. And that was pretty cool. 
That was pretty cool looking, but for the most part, just a lot of like barrels and crates. Crates and barrels. Um, so I have like a bunch of framed pictures that I used to have on this wall. Um, the issue is, is that I also mix music in here and I do a lot of music production. And so I try to keep like reflective surfaces to a minimum. Um, all of my guitars and stuff have, have things to like reduce their resonance while I'm not playing them. So they don't, because if I play my music while mixing or if I'm recording, they'll all start humming and the microphones pick them up or it messes up my ears. Um, and so I have diffusers on the back wall. That's what the wood slats are. Those are diffusers. So when the sound comes out of my speakers and hits the back wall, it doesn't bounce off the wall and back into my ears. It goes into the diffusers and stops. So I don't get a slap back. Um, and then I have a big panel on my ceiling. That's a foam. Like it's, it's a wood frame with like fabric over it, but it's filled with foam. I have them in the corners and here behind my monitors just to control the echo in this room. That's why it sounds, there's no echo. It's completely dead in here. So with pictures and them being glass, it reflects sound. And since I'm so close to the wall, they mess up when I'm hearing music, when I'm referencing music. So I try not to have the pictures up here. Um, I thought about getting like a larger TV to put there and use it as like a monitor, but the ring light would be completely in the way of it. So I don't. Um, so right now it's just blank. Usually in a studio, that's where you see into like Studio A or Studio B. That's where you like watch the musicians record and stuff. You'd have a big window there. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do. I don't know what I'm going to do. We shall see. Those diffusers <clears throat> get expensive though, like $175 for a two foot by two foot panel. Something like that. They can get pricey, man. Not at all cheap. But really good to have. I don't like that <laughs> at all. I don't like that at all. Yeah, I do imagine a picture vaulter. Yeah. Yeah, like diffusers can be just so expensive. Like, let me see here. Here's a diffuser here. $200, five inches deep. These are four of them, right? One, two, three, that's six of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's twelve hundred dollars of diffusion right there. And then two acoustic panels, bass traps in the corners. Yeah. And they're just made with like little one inch by one inch square wood blocks all glued together. Yep. Diffusers are expensive. I think it's mainly because they're handmade, but they come in a wealth of, they come in a wealth of shapes and sizes. And, um, but that's what they're really used for. Here's a cool, here's a cool, um, here's cool diffusers in the ceiling and on the back wall. So basically sound waves go up into these little slats and just bounce around and they never come out. So the sound just goes up there and dies. And these wall um, acoustic panels, it goes through the acoustic padding and doesn't is not able to escape out so you're basically just killing any echoes this is not soundproofing okay so if you're outside of this room you will hear the music it keeps the music from bouncing around in the room sound waves 
do not bounce around the room at this point. So if you walk into a bathroom and you can hear yourself talking in the bathroom, that's what you're trying to eliminate with this stuff. That's what it is. Um, another thing too, is it helps EQ a room. So rooms can be really bassy. They can be very trebly. They can be very bright and harsh sounding. Um, they have, every room sounds different. And so what you want is as flat of an EQ as possible. You don't want it to be too bassy, too trebly. You don't want to have any peaks or valleys, major ones, right? So it helps control that. So if you're too bassy, you have big bass frequency humps, you can do bass traps and it'll control that. And so your room doesn't get too bassy. And the point is, is if you're mixing music or you're recording music or something, or you're enjoying listening to music, it can be like very bass heavy. And so you turn down your subwoofer or you don't turn the bass guitar up loud enough. And then you go listen to it in your car and there's no bass because you weren't hearing it accurately in your room. So that's, those are the big, big reasons why you want to make sure that you, you have that under control. I'm going to do crates. Let's do some crates. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I don't want weathered. Can I do like not weathered? Yeah, just like standard ones here. I'm just going to pull these in just a bunch of different ones, right? But it's a thing, some people just absolutely go bananas over um, conditioning their room and they get obsessive compulsive with it. And like, that's fine, but it's never gonna be perfect. <laughs> like, understand, it'll never be perfect, even if, you have an audio, like an acoustic titian person design you a room and you hire an audio building contractor to come in and build this room specifically for this one purpose. It's still not going to be perfect. Um, and you will have conditions. And then once you condition your room, it'll still have issues. That's the name of the game. But some people just get really, really, really obsessive over it like scarily obsessive and they start freaking out if it's not like absolutely perfect. But that's the name of the game. And for me, I don't like when things are perfect. Um, I feel like the magic of audio, the magic of anything is in the imperfections. Um, it's weird. And I know a lot of people will be like, that's not good. That's not true. But that is really how I feel. Uh, there is a brand of guitars. I was just talking to somebody about this. There's a brand of guitars that's out. That's been out for a long time. And they're like very considered very good guitars. And they are handmade here in America. And the guy who designed these guitars basically worked out all of the kinks of a guitar, all of the issues of what that people have with guitars. And I went and I played one because I saw one that was very pretty that I wanted. And it had no soul. It had... It was like the most perfect sounding guitar and it sounded bad. And it occurred to me that what made guitar so magical were the quote unquote defects with it. I felt like that's what gives it its magic and sparkle. You could say the same thing about people, you know? This is what makes people interesting. It's our differences.
for right now, I'm just going to keep it like that. For right now, that'll be that. Can I push this back any further? I think I can. Just make it where you can get to that walkway a little bit easier, I think. I think that'll be okay. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. No, let's do, let's move them to my net. I need to put stuff up in my net. Hopefully it'll fit. Cool. This one I'll get rid of. It is raining. It's been raining for like three freaking days. I'm tired of it raining, to be honest with you. But it is spring. And with spring comes the rain. So, just how it works. I try not to complain too, too much about it. There's rug one. Let's do another one here. That was a little funky. There we go, just like that. Now I've got some rugs up there. I've got some little crates. Maybe I'll put another small little crate up there. I'm gonna snap this real quick. Well. Turn off <clears throat> all rotation. There we go. Cool. So that's done. And this is all good here. I'm going to add one more of, uh, hmm, let's do. What is that? Upper shelf. Cool. This is what I think is better back here instead of crates. To me, it just kind of fits a little bit better, you know? Like that. Maybe center it. Who knows? And then here we can just do barrels and crates there. Cause I want to have like lots of storage that people can just like rummage through if they wanted to like rob the store. It's kind of my big thing. I like it when I like giving people ability to rob the stores. I don't know why I never play as a thief, but that's just how I do. You know, it's just how I do. So that is actually looking pretty good for the big stuff, I believe. 
can't think of much else here. Um, yeah, I like these. That's pretty cool. Hello. Oh, there it is. Let's get a little bit lower. It's really big. <laughs> Just like JK. Now I think what I'm going to do is go to the player home and steal everything off the shelves. And that's how I'm gonna load up these shelves. Should be pretty simple to do. Can't think of anything else that I would have to do. You know? Start adding some barrels in here. Barrels take up a lot more room than you think they would. It's true. Put a little meat barrel up here, shall we? Cool. That works for me. Do, 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 do. Here. Let's add like some common ingredients. Let's do some uncommon ingredients. So if you go diving, you'll be like, wow, I found something of use. Since it's a static barrel, you can put things like this on top of it. I don't know if this goes on the ground or what. Like flat like this? 
more like this. I think it just goes this way. Oddly enough. This doesn't look stable. You know, it doesn't look stable like that. Put some baskets around here. That should that should be good, right? We don't need anything else, do we? Just trying to fill it in. I don't know about that. That's pretty cool looking. I like these little crates though. I don't know why, I just do. Okay. That's a lot of, that's pretty much the big stuff, I think. The only thing I could think of is Like the, the seating area right here. I like to have a seating area. I do prefer that. Thank you. I think it looks all right. Let's see, bar, um, Meat, meat works. Oops. Something like that would be good. Yeah. Let's pull that away. Yeah, that works. I think I'm <clears throat> going to do some stuff over the fireplace, do some stuff here. Okay, and that's all from the player home, which is fine to do. 
I want... What did I do? Let me see here. Um, let me do, what is this? Um, stall? I want like market stall shelves, like market stall shelving, right? I'd really like to have those. Not too sure what they're called though. Market, maybe? Oof. Market display shelf. That's what I'm looking for. These will come in handy. Possibly have to move that back a wee bit. Like that. This one I think is okay where it's at. That one's fine like that. Yeah, good. And then I'm going to get some baskets And I think I'm going to, I'm just going to put them here as placeholders for right now. Because I think, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is make static versions of them. So you can't kick them over and just fill them with stuff is what I'm going to do. Same thing here with that guy. Just fill it with stuff. Let's get rid of that one and put this over here with that. So I'll have the static version a couple places. Let's slide all of this shit down. Like that. Be cool to have like a table in here. What is this, upper? And I will do an upper table bench. No. Upper. I'm looking for like a shelf, but not a tall shelf. I hope this makes sense. Yeah. Just like that. I like furniture to match. That's my that's my pet peeve. Is when furniture doesn't match. That's when I'm like, Urgh. let's get rid of these guys. Actually, you know what I can do. Just like that. Let's do that. And this guy will fit a lot better here. Like so. Boom-tastic. Which means I can take these shelves and put a couple here. Which is what I want. 
Can I put two or just one? Just one. Two will not fit. Nope, two won't fit. So just one it is. Nice. Now I have places to display cool items. It looks a little junky in here, which I really like. Yeah. I'll put, I'll go ahead and do the wall baskets. Because they were specifically requested by Leo. Leo specifically said, I want wall baskets. So we're gonna give it to him. Nope, can't use that one. Can't use that one. Can use that one. Can I fit one more? Yes, I can. Make sure they're all spaced out properly. Don't worry about that side. Go ahead and take this. Back these up a little bit. There we go. Good deal. I like this. That's very cool. Yeah, it is organized, but it's still a little junky and I like that. You know, it's still a little cluttered up. It's not it's not too too organized. We don't want Einstein, 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 Einstein. Everything in order, I'm a robot. Don't want that. Let's go into load screen. I'm just gonna grab a couple of things here real quick. Um, some shields, namely. Um, so that's that shield. Might use a another shield. Let's take a glass shield. Oops. Cool. What's another cool shield I can use? Don't want to use a dragon scale or Daedric because I think those really wouldn't be seen often. hoping to find the iron shield. I don't know where it is. Do, 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 do. Using the load screen stuff is really great just because yeah, imperial shield, that might be too big. Let's get the iron shield here. that and I'll take a steel shield yeah yeah like that turn this off just pull these down and into here a wee bit just so they're like, look like they're fixed. Might center this guy up. There we go. Same thing here, just center them up. Does not need to be perfect. I guess I can use an orc shield. Might be too big.
Yeah, he is too big. Yeah, um, yeah. There, the iron is weird simply because I just never seen anybody nail it right. You know, it always looks like it's like off. It always looks off to me. Always. Never looks right. I guess that's all the shields I can use. I could use a Falkreath shield, considering that we're in Falkreath. Let's use that. Let's use that. Let me get this here. Get these lined up. There we go. Cool. I like it. I like that a lot. And so at this point, it's going to be stocking shelves, laying rugs. That's going to be pretty much the extent of it at this point. Everything else is pretty done. I can't think of really too much else to do. What do you guys think? Um, one thing I would like to get here. Let me see here. Yeah. I want to see this crap. So I put these in the player home for Mark Arth's side, and I freaking loved them. So I'm going to see if I can figure out a way that I can use these again. Because I really like these a lot. And I can't remember who gave me the idea. But it was such a great idea. That I decided I wanted to use them as often as possible. they were just so cool. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Let's see what we can do with this guy. That right there, I think, is going to float through the floor. Does it? No. Cool. But it doesn't really connect there, does it? Yeah, 
that's not going to work too well. Not like that anyway. Sadly. Dang. I really do like these. Maybe just having them just in the corner is going to be good enough. You see, that's the thing, Volter, is that you got to look for them. You got to look for them. That's the deal. I think the JK one had some cool ropes. I can't remember. So now I'm looking for ropes. Because I'm a bitch like that. Don't need long. Just something cool, you know? Just something cool. That's all I want. That's pretty cool. That works. Let's use it. I'm gonna hang it from that pillar right there. Like that. I guess. I don't know. That seems okay. I mean, it it works. That's correct, yeah? Okay. Fuck it. Looked good. Let's do it. Calling that. Just like that. Alright, so the last thing to do is this um, dining area right here, right? So we're going to grab our upper table. Upper table. Wait, is that it? Let's try this one. Nope. Yeah, that works. Um... So I can do like something like this or something like this. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, they have upstairs, right? Yeah, they got an upstairs. They got upstairs. Cool. Ew, why did I use this? Let me do edit, search and replace. I love the search and replace tool. Right? I'm going to use the upper cupboard. Yay. Done. <laughs> Make that shit match.
use upper chair. This is where your markers really do come in handy because now you know like where you can like place things, right? And you don't want to get in the way of this guy, but you still want people to be able to get back over there. So something like that maybe? Something like that, I guess. I don't know. Let's let's say fuck that. Let's do our thing, right? Let's just do it how I do it. Um, turn the markers off. Do turn my snapping on because that's what I like. Get them like do -do doom, like so. Give me my upper table, and I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, you could use that. It's kind of high. Upper. I'm gonna do like nightstand. Perfect. that good deal and then we'll just decorate all of that crap now for the rugs because rugs you're like man something's really missing from the room and then you put in a rug and you go that's what was missing and it just i don't know it just makes the world better rugs make the world better i think we should maybe center this up Good deal. And I guess I can put one like behind the counter. Give him some cushion. Good. Like that. That's fine. I still feel like something needs to go back there. I think I might just do barrels and crates. We'll see. But aside from that, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, let's do something like this here. Yeah. this here. <laughs> Go away. So now the only thing that we're really kind of missing here is lighting, of course. So I'm gonna type in candle and I'm just gonna like just pop in this in places, right? Like we're not gonna go uber crazy. Get rid of this crap here. Get rid of this. 
this, I'm going to put... here. Because why not? Now that's okay. I think I'm going to need one of these guys here. Like this. Just to light up each of these corners. Put one here. that. I'll put a candle there. And I feel like there should be one here, but I don't necessarily like having that there. I don't like this one here, is what I'm saying. So I might do it like here. Call that a day. That should be okay. Let's look at our lighting here. So we've got one, two, three lights upstairs, which is good. And then I've got these guys down here. So I'm gonna just start pulling them in just so they're not overlapping each other. Is, is what I'm looking at right now. So my goal is to like have as little overlapping lights as possible. That should be okay. Let's test this and let's see what we look like. We gotta get out of it. Save, leave. What issues is Volter having? Yes, Grit. Hi. You want to say hi to everyone? everybody can see you, okay? How are you doing? You good? 
Are you happy? He's a good boy. What do you need? What do you want, Grit? You want a headbutt? Yeah. Hey, old man. Yeah? You want on the desk? I, it kills me because I don't know what he wants. You know, he's like, eh, but he's like too afraid to do something. And I'm like, I don't know what I need to do for you, buddy. I feel so bad. And now he's coming back. Oh. Hey. I love you. I love you, Grit. You see his tail go by? Let's check our store name change. Crossroads General Goods. I like it. All right. Huh? Look at this bullshit. This is a lot better, huh? Almost an exact ripoff of JK, but hey, Hi. I like it. We gotta we need to make these baskets static so I can put crap in them. Um Yeah, like goat horns, glass. I'm gonna do the locks and latches here. We'll do some like leather strips and stuff like that. It'll be good. Good, thank you very much, Brandy. That rope needs to be fixed and connected. But aside from that, it's good. I think this chair's in the way. If he's gonna be here, and not here. We need to kind of like rotate and slide all this shit over. Aside from that, I like all of this. The upstairs I'm going to keep. The upstairs is fine. It looks great as a living quarter. You know what I mean? It doesn't need any more than that. But all of this stuff I like. These are fun. So when you're standing here, you can see them over there. Yep, yeah, very much two in the way. So take that same thing, but just go whoop, rotate it, and just slide it slightly to the left. Yeah, even when you walk in, it's like, whoa, hey. Well, that's good. I don't think we need any more clutter in here. I think we just need to stock the shelves. And we're done. We in agreement with this? And then we need to do the nav mesh. We need to nav mesh it. Yes. Once we nav mesh, then we'll be good to go. But I think nav we can even nav mesh now. Since we're not adding any more furniture, we can nav mesh now. We just need to fix that rope because on the left side, it's not connecting to the knots. Let me go upstairs real quick. I just want to check and make sure nothing's poking through the floor. I think we're good. Cool. I hate using fish. Remove the fish. They just never settle right, honestly, ever. 
We're also missing a bucket and broom. Let's look at our um, magic shop again. Let's remind ourselves of what it looks like. Oh yeah, I wanted to center those up. The rest of this is awesome. I'm happy with all of this. Very cool. When it comes to, so the last one that we're gonna do is the alchemy shop because I think, and this is just me personally, but I'm kind of cool with how the end looks, right? Like to me, it's, yeah, it's a generic end, but it's pretty filled. Like, there's really not too much you can do in this inn to make it any different. You know what I mean? I mean, any better. It's just going to be different. If it was a different layout, I might do something. Like what I did in Markarth's side. But... And I mean, I'll go check out the other ends and stuff, but I'm kind of happy with how this end looks. Yeah, it, it's a very lived in end. The bedrooms are cute and small. They're unique in a way, not really. They're kind of just mirror images of each other, but that's, that's, uh, that's how ends work. Um, I've not had any complaints about the N. When I look at the N, I'm happy. So that's why I'm kind of like, eh, eh, you know. I don't feel like it needs anything. Yeah. I mean, if I was going to slut it up, maybe I would do some like hanging pheasants and some hanging herbs and stuff like that back here. Um, I might, you could do those like red banners everywhere if you wanted to. So I'm not really too worried about the end. I also think like just when it just comes to sadness. I think the shops were super sad, and now I'm happy with how they are coming out. This, of course, will be the one we do on Thursday. Is this guy. And whilst it's the better of the three shops, right? It's the better of the three shops. It's not... It's not great. I, too, feel like it's lacking. It's just, it's just kind of like doing the motions, I guess you could say. It's going through the motions. So what we're going to do with the alchemy shop is we're going to move everything downstairs. And everything downstairs is going to go upstairs. That's what we're going to do. Um, everybody kind of agreed on that in the last stream to move everything in the alchemy shop downstairs, including the sign. Take the sign and put it downstairs. The market, the market's difficult and I'll tell you why it's because the ground's uneven. So you really can't do like, and I have all of these, this flora and stuff happening. So like doing barrels and all of these things, I'm not too big on. Um, so I'm not going to touch the marketplace. I think it is good as it sits. I'm happy with the marketplace. I don't want to do anything to the market. I remember when I built it, I experimented by putting some road stones here 
to kind of like give it like an outdoor market feel. And then I tried to like put in um, like some meshes for the ground to like give it like tiled ground. Um, it didn't, it didn't look right. It looked really out of place. Doing it like this makes it look a lot more natural, I think. Um, I still might toy with it just a little bit. And the biggest reason why was because their feet clip in the ground. And so I wanted to give them a flat base to work off of. Inside the watchtower, I love. I am fine with inside the watchtower. I don't feel like there's anything that needs to happen in here. To me, it looks awesome. Nothing needs to happen in the watchtower. I guess the last thing is up here. Do we want to add anything up here near the shrine? Any other point of interest up here besides just a shrine? It's Sheep's Head Inn. Sheep's Head Inn. One other thing that I was thinking of doing was removing all of this debris up here. Getting rid of all of this shit. It doesn't make sense to have this up here anymore. Even though this is in the vanilla game, it just doesn't make sense to have it. Like, why would this be so close to the town and nobody from the town came and cleaned it up? You know? Yes, Grit. Yes, Bubba. Yes, sir. Hi. You okay? You need anything? You good? Need something? You need something? Hey. Hey. What is it? What is it? What is it? What, what's, what's got you? What's got your jimmies in a crawl? I love you, Grit. You're too cute. You're too cute. You know that? All right, so let's get this sorted, and I'm going to end the stream. I'm not going to do the shelves tonight. I'll do the shelves off stream, but I'm going to get the furniture set up and get the rope fixed. Chris just sitting here staring at me. This is what he does now. This is what he does. You see that? You see that? What is it, Grit? What? I love you. I don't know what he wants. Makes me sad. I hate not knowing what he wants. I do want to say thank you to everybody that is here currently right now. Hit the like button for me. Let me know. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about Granite Hill. If you think it is missing something that we should add, let me know. Hey, where did my window go? Mm -hmm. 
So this is what I'm looking at here. It's taking this, rotating it like that. Let's do it like that. Although, that won't work either, unless I have front chairs. Let's get rid of that. I really want to have these here, but it's not seeming to work out right. I'll get back to that in a second. Oh, I see what it's doing. Interesting. So I need this to rotate. That might not look good. That's not gonna look good. And doing it like that is gonna be way too high for this guy. That needs to be like that. And that makes these guys float. That is our issue thus far. Okay, let's see if I have another rope that I can do then. Let's get rid of this. Get, I'm going to eh, we'll move that here real quick. Interesting. Do it like that. All right. So now, And that's the one I was using. Maybe number six will be better. Although I think it'll probably be very much the same outcome. could do technically is possibly do this like that it's just I'm clipping up there and I don't really like that I don't really like that too much as you can see, and the rope here is going straight into the wood, which does not make me happy. But aside from that, it's good. Might just keep it like that and call it a day. Woo! Big thunder. All right, what am I looking at here? 
what is this guy? Rope end a one. And this guy is rope end a one. Okay. This guy could possibly work, but I needed that other knot at 45 degree angles, which isn't going to work. Yeah. Do you plan on doing custom signs for the shops in Granite Hill? I don't plan on doing it. Not right now. That's kind of like bottom, bottom of the list stuff. Um, I probably will. Um, I'm just not really planning on it. It's just not something, you know, that I planned on doing. It basically, I'm lazy and I don't want to do the work. I'm going to just, that that's the, the long and short of it, to be honest with you. I just don't feel like doing it. I know, that makes me a bad person. But yeah, I just don't, I just don't feel like doing it. Cause I'm, I'm lazy. Okay. Well, I'm guessing that's going to have to be as good as it gets. That's going to have to be as good as it gets. I just don't feel like doing it. Yeah. That's that's how that's how it is. I would like to find a way to get these hooked up right to look really cool. And they're a little difficult because I need this guy here like this, like that, right? Which puts this guy here in a weird fucking place. Now what I could possibly do is do that and then do that. But that puts this light in the post. Damn. So now we're back to this again. What I could do, let's do, let's take this guy, put him here. Because somebody just has to see the lights. 
made me feel bad, like y'all do. You guilt trip me into doing these things for you. It's a little bit bigger. There you go. There you go. Rope is dope. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Now with that all being said, I wanna move him to where he's going to be. Which is about here. That works. Don't need light there, that works. Here, I'm gonna do glazed, candle, plate, like that. Just to give it some sort of light source here. Should be something on this wall, I think. But I'm not sure what. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do... Horn. And I'm going to do these candle horns for the wall. Put them here. Like that. I'm thinking that should be okay. Can I scoot them in? Well, screw it right now. Let's do this. Actually, Get rid of that. Let's do a cool lantern. Like that. Let's do a lantern with a candle. Rotate it. There we go. Eh. Snapping sometimes fucks up. I'm not always a fan of the snapping. Nice. And then here I'm going to do the glazed candles. I can, I could also do a, let's do that instead. Give me this guy. Hmm. Let's put him back here. Turn this back on here so I can see what I'm doing. Make sure he's not clipping into anything. Fine. Like that. Perfect. Make sure these aren't over doing it there. Cool. That works for me. And then I guess the last thing to really do is the table chair thing here. That's gonna be the difficult part. So let's do an upper 
table. I really let's do a round one. Like this. Right? It looks almost too much like the Riverwood Trader doing it like this, but what can you do? Doing it the other way didn't look good. You know? And then up here, I'm going to get rid of this fucking fish. Because I hate it. Let's do... I really want to do... Um... Where is it? Yeah, I thought it was that. I want to check all of these things here real quick. Cool, we're good. All right. So that works. Now, I guess the last thing to do is the nav meshing which shouldn't be too difficult to do. It's all pretty straightforward here. Um, a couple little things, but not too bad. Not too bad. Let's make sure all of our snapping is off. So, I'm going to take this view. I'm just going to do a couple things like this real quick. Like that. I say only a few things and then I'm deleting everything. That's just what I do. Okay. I should be fine like that. I'll just redo all of this shit since I'm here. Oops. Oh, I gotta hold. I gotta hold the button, John. Come on. OK, 
Okay. Like that. And then back here, ooh, that's a mess. Does not need to go back there. Let me turn this on. Boom. There we go. That's it. That's all it should do. Everything else is very nice. Stairs are done nicely. Actually kind of slide these here a little bit. Upstairs. I think we can do this a little bit better. Went a little too a little too gung ho with it. Oh, what the hell? Why'd you switch up on me? Sometimes I go like a little too like accurate, <laughs> you know, like, oh, I'm a little too, I don't know what the word is, but. like you don't need to you don't need it to be up to like every single wall and stuff there is some leeway that actually is okay that's okay that's pretty good Turn off all of these. There we go. My biggest thing is just to make sure that, like, they have room to get, they have nav mesh, like, the blue dots go into the nav meshes is really all I care about. Do the blue, do these blue dots, is the nav mesh under the blue dots? It's the only thing I care for. Okay. So like this guy I might pull out a little bit and then check it. I think that should be okay. That should be fine. All right. So nav mesh is done. We have light sources up. Ropes fixed, table chairs. We just have to stock the shelves. 
And that'll be it. Really kind of simple stuff. Really kind of simple stuff. Let's go in and just test it one more time. We're going to end the stream. Everybody doing okay? I want to say thanks for sticking around with me all night. Super fun. Thank you very much. We're at 21 likes, which makes me super happy. Thank you, everyone, for all of the likes. I appreciate it. This Thursday, we're going to do an Ask Sky King. That's everyone's favorite time. Um, we usually do that around 11 o'clock during our stream. So get ready. If you have any comments you want to see in the stream, post them in the Nexus between now and Thursday night at 11. And I might read your comment. If that's something that interests you, if you want to be embarrassed in front of everybody in the stream. Let's load up a new game. Just because we did new nav meshes and stuff. Yes, Grit. Yes, Bubba. All right, rope is better. I can live with this rope. The lights look cool like that. Okay. This is better. That's a shit ton better. Hello. I didn't test the nav mesh, but I really don't care. It'll be fine. This is good, no falling fish. The barrels are touching the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Do we see anything that we're missing? Do we need to have more things? I think this is pretty eclectic. I think it's pretty cool. There's no ivy, I apologize. Make sure that these are not ones that are for a mission. Okay. Just need to static the baskets. Static the basket. Very cool. It's very cool. <laughs> Immersion ruined. No ivy. What the hell? <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so maybe I'll do custom signs. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't want to. <coughs> I really don't want to. But that's just today. Tomorrow I might. Tomorrow I might want to. You know? Who knows? Who knows? Well, thank you everyone for joining. I want to say, Lucy, welcome to being a member. Thank you so much for membering it up. Um, I'll be on the Discord. If anybody wants anything, needs anything, let me know. I love all of you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. We're going to attack the Alchemy Shop. Join me. Thank you.